back with Joey as we go through that sequence or we go through that proper order of mobility drills from the movement quality program to improve control, to improve in range of motion and mobility in specific positions. Now, in order to do so, we'd have to build that intentional tension. So, Joey, remember to engage both of your feet in the ground with your toes, yeah? In the previous video, we just simply went to the side. Now what we're doing is, as we've earned that, we're going comprehensively around the world, if you will, are doing circular hip mobility drills. Now, in the bigger scheme of things, could you do these a lot faster with more aggressive whipping factors and all that stuff? Absolutely. But if you're always doing that, you're never going to understand where the dysfunction is coming from or compensation comes from. So it's imperative we break down again those mechanics, we work at a slower profile or slower pace, and what I'm going to do here is restrict Joey's rotation. Um, we're working more or less on controlling that independently from the other hip. The other areas are earning stability and control. And what you'll find is when he goes back to engaging in the full-fledged movements, such as kicks, punches, rotation, dodging, he's going to be more intentional, have a little bit more spring, because he's, he's almost decomposed, or he's almost, um, he's almost gotten rid of all that tension that he was building, building back intentional tension at a slower pace with less impact, is allowing him to recover in a way that can just recuperate the body, and when he goes back to his comprehensive whipping position, he'll have more confidence of how to produce the said movement. Long story short, it helps us recover and produce those bigger movements a lot better. And all he had to simply do was break down the mechanics and slow it down a bit. So let's try the other rotation now. So that was more or less for the external rotation. Now we're going to look at the other pattern after this repetition where he's going in the opposite direction. He may be feeling this a lot through his obliques, which are responsible more or less for creating that whip around when I'm kicking or driving a proper knee. If I'm not getting it from there, I'll get it in bad areas such as my ankle joint, knee joint, and lower back. So remember the other pattern? 